Hey friends! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Danielle and we are here to discuss episode 2 of my natural hair journey. So um, from the last video you can obviously tell that there has been a major change. Um, I'm going to give you a couple updates since that last video. So um, if you watched the first episode you saw that I said I was going to see a professional um, to get a proper assessment of how my hair was doing and what I needed to do to get it back on the right track. So uh, I believe maybe a week or two after I recorded that video, I went to a girl I found on Instagram in DC who was supposed to uh, condition, hydrate, do like some kind of hydrating, um, excuse me, I got like hair on my face, hydrating uh, treatment on my hair as well as trim it, wash it, flat iron it, you know, the whole shebang, okay? So I go there, and I have like a couple clips from when I was on the way there, hella hype. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am actually, I got a late start, okay? So the morning was rough, late nights, early mornings just don't mix, no matter what they tell you. So I am currently on the way to get my hair done. So this will be episode two of my healthy hair journey. Um, if you saw my last video, I just did uh, what I wouldn't usually do on my wash days. So I'm gonna go to a professional, get my hair straightened, get it washed, get it conditioned, get it trimmed, get it styled. We're gonna be looking cute, okay? When you see me, I don't know you. All right, so come along with me. I was ready. Um, I have a couple clips on the way there and then walking up to the salon. I don't have any uh, recordings from what she was telling me after she assessed my hair, but I do have like a couple clips, but I'll try to Definitely. explain it to the best of my ability, what she told me during that appointment. So um, after she washed it, she did the hydrating treatment on it. Um, she was, as she was washing it, she told me that um, from what she could feel with my hair, it was some parts which I knew I uh, knew about some of them I knew about there was a part in the front that is broken off there still is a part so there's a section in the front that is broken off from me wearing uh, quick weaves and sew-ins I usually do a uh, middle part when I wear a, a sew-in or like a quick weave so I knew my hair probably like this this big of a section of my hair was broken off from me having a flat iron and um, blow dry it you know to blend it with my my weave so she said this part and then as she worked her way to the back she said there was like probably a section as like a like a handful as big as the palm of my hand my hands are pretty small but and my head is pretty small but basically the whole back part of my head was broken off so she washed my hair she did the um hydrating treatment she blow dried it and then once she blow dried it she said yeah yeah girl baby girl What's going on? What is that? And I was like, oh, because um, I always felt like I took pretty good care of my, help, my hair, um, you know, on my own. I would wash it maybe once a week or once every other week or once every two weeks. And um, when I had my quick weaves in, um, I was like washing it, you know, deep conditioning, doing the leave out, and I would flat, I'm not a braider, like I can't cornrow, so I would flat twist my hair and then do like the double stocking cap and glue the tracks on top that way. But uh, to say I was surprised when she said that such a large section of the back of my head was broken off, I was surprised because I always felt like um, I took pretty good hair, care of my hair. Now, after she blow dried it and she realized the, the damage that was you know, going on in my hair, she um, told me that she was not a stylist that did shortcuts. Um, and because of how badly broken off my hair was, it was too, it wouldn't look right, basically. She said that even if she went in to trim like I wanted her to, it still wouldn't look right because of the length of my hair and then the areas in which that it was broken off. So I ended up uh, paying her for washing my hair and conditioning it and trim, or she didn't trim it. So just, I paid her for washing my hair and conditioning it. And then I just kind of did what I usually do, which is a rolling tuck. I just wore it like that for a week. So that was last week, uh, I think Wednesday or thir Thursday last week. Um, 
when I went and got my hair done or supposed to get my hair done. <laughs> so after she told me how badly damaged my hair was, I was like um, having anxiety about it. Honestly, I was just on the verge of taking scissors to my hair myself and just kind of just going at it, doing another big chop and then doing what I did the first go around, which is I just wore protective styles until my hair grew out to a length where I was comfortable enough to wear it out, which is what usually most girls do when they um, go natural. So I didn't do that. I kept the scissors in the bathroom where they belonged and I did what I feel like most girls these days do and thanks to the wonders of social media I went on Instagram I searched the hashtag I think uh, short haircuts or DMV hairstylist because if you didn't know I live in the DMV area so I did that I went on Instagram I searched the hashtag and I found this amazing stylist in Maryland um, that did awesome 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 work on shortcuts so you know i found her page and i kind of scrolled through a little bit and when i saw the link in her bio for her website you know i clicked the link trying to schedule an appointment but of course because of the panorama that we are in honey this panera bread that's going on in the world it's not that easy so i had to go on the website and send a message to whoever to see like when her next available will be so I go on the website, I send a message, I explain what happened in that first appointment and I just said that, you know, I'm anxious to get my hair cut, um, your work is amazing, um, feel free to, you know, and I put my, my phone number and my email or whatever so that they can contact me. Um, maybe two days, mm, maybe a day or two later, she actually ended up texting me, oh no, it was the next day, so... The next day, I'm like anxious. I'm like checking, checking, checking my email, checking, checking Instagram, checking text messages, trying to see if somebody was going to contact me. Didn't hear anything for like the whole day. So I'm like, okay, it's like 6, 6 o'clock, 6.30. And I get a text message from the stylist, her. And she's like, hey, you know, it's Trina from such and such salon. And she's like asking me questions about my hair. She asked for me to send her a couple pictures of my hair out um so she can get a i mean like of course she would still need to see me in person but just to give her an idea of what i had going on now the picture that i the picture is that i sent her were from like months ago so i'm not quite sure when i had the damage in my hair considering i'm not one or i wasn't one um to go to a hairstylist on a regular basis so i just sent her what i had you know i told her my concerns and she asked me to send her some uh, pictures of what uh, potential styles that I would like. So I did all of that. And then she ended up asking me, when did I want to come in? I was like, honey, baby girl, whatever, you, what's the next available? Put me on the schedule for tomorrow because I'm ready. Like, that's how anxious I was about it. That's how, not stress, because I wasn't stressed about it. I knew, like, my, I would get my hair done eventually. It was just a matter of when and where. So to have her like text me and be like, okay, girl, um, you know, uh, Wednesday at 8.30, come through. I said, bet, <laughs> baby girl, you, you ain't said, you ain't said nothing to me. You ain't said nothing but a word. So I skirt, skirted onto her uh, salon, hella nervous, hella, hella nervous. I got some videos and some clips of, you know, my appointments. But one thing that I did appreciate about her um, when she did my hair is that I'm super um, indecisive. So the plan was, um, which is what we talked about via text, because of the style, the styles that I sent her, um, she said that um, I would need to relax the sides and the back. So as much as I was against it, I felt like that was a good compromise considering I was natural. So uh, like... The whole top part of my hair is still natural. It's just the sides and the back. And I'll do a little 360 um, so you all can see. But the sides and the back are what are relaxed. So, you know, I get there and, you know, we rediscuss the game plan. And, you know, I feel her sectioning off my hair. And then, baby girl just gets to cut.
in. And I just hear this is going, and I'm like, okay, this is it. <laughs> We're here now. Like, the hair is gone. I can't take it back. It's gone. It's on the floor. It's in my lap. It's on the chair. It's on my sweater. It's on me. It's everywhere but my head. So, you know, she's cutting, and I'm like, oh, you just go in for the kill, huh? You don't give nobody time. And she's like, no, girl. <laughs> Because if I give you time to think about it, and if I if we keep going back and forth about it, then you'll change your mind. So it's, you know, you told me what you wanted, we discussed it, we agreed, and we're just going to do it. So I appreciated her doing that. And we got to this. A lot, um, because my hair is so broken off on the top, she ended up having to cut it kind of short. So some of this in the front is tracks. So to help keep it full and to give it a little more shape, she put tracks in the front. Um, but everything else is my hair. So my hair is pretty short right now. Like hella short. Hella, hella short. So I did end up doing a big chop number two. Not by, mm, I don't want to say not by choice because this was something that I have been playing with for a little while. But, um, I did a big chop number two. So I'm thinking I'll just keep my hair like this, uh, probably until the summer. And then slowly start to grow it back out. But see what the shawty, what the what your girl is working with right now. Okay? Because, huh? I'm sorry, excuse me, say what? Because right now I'm feeling myself. I was so nervous sitting in her chair. But after, you know, as she's like getting towards the end, she, her chair is like positioned to where you can't see yourself in the mirror. So I'm like trying to, I'm trying to peek and trying to look or whatever. <laughs> And she ended up turning me in a direction where there was another mirror hanging on the wall across the way. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I look so cute. So I'm very satisfied. Very, very satisfied. I'll leave all of her information in the description box below. But I would love for you guys to continue to follow me on this journey. Not only to healthy hair, but, you know, just start styling my natural hair short. And then eventually getting to a point where I am growing it back out. Let me do a quick 360 here so you guys can see what's going on i'm serving a little uh nia long 90s uh 90s vibe here <laughs> but it looks really good i'm super satisfied i was nervous for nothing so yeah i thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned for more journey more videos to come on my hair journey Hey guys, it's your girl Danielle and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And as you can see, there has been a major change since uh, my last natural hair video. So let's talk about that, okay? So um, from the last video, I saw a professional. 